What's up everybody? Tandy Scapers here. Got a video for you. This is uh I'm gonna cover something. There's quite a few uh quite a few videos. That's kind of bright, ain't it? There's um quite a few videos covering this already. But um as you've seen in the title, this is gonna be how to test your car battery using a multimeter um however i haven't found any videos covering this and i had this problem um years back uh trying to search for a video on how to do this because i didn't quite know um the main reason that people search this video is the setting on the multimeter that's what a lot of people need to know. What setting do I put on, on my multimeter to test the car battery? Nobody really covers that. And there's so many different kind of multimeters and they all, they're not all the uh, same dials or look the same. Some of them might say DCV and then have some numbers that you can choose from out of DCV. Because that's what you want when you're testing a car, uh, a car battery with a multimeter. Is that DCV setting. Excuse me. And you want anything that's over uh, 15 volt. Which usually it's going to be like a 20 volt would be your option. Um, there's like a, a 2 volt. It goes up to 600. Um, but anyways, we're going to get into this. And I'm going to try to make this simple, but a little detailed. So a lot of guys and uh, people know how to do this. Let me get the camera set up. We'll get right into it. Okay. All right. First off, I'm going to cover what I was just talking about the setting the setting part hmm. all right <clears throat> so i think i finally got this set up all right so first things first your uh, leads here okay for most of your testing not just for the car battery, but for most of your testing, the black one is always going to go in the comm. Well, yeah, it always does. This is the red one that gets changed. My bad. It's always going to go in the comm, the black. This one, typically, for most of the testing, is going to go in the um, MAV ohms. Um, I have no idea what a lot of this stands for. I know that's amperage. Um but uh, that's where your red lead's going to go. Okay. All right. Now, when you're testing a car battery, let me get a little closer with this. The setting you're going to want is the DCV setting. And you're going to want anything over 15 volts. Um, or... Well, yeah, because batteries can read 12, 14 volts. So, yeah, you're going to want 20 volts, basically. All right. Now, on some of these multimeters, a lot of them, it'll say, like, over here, for an example, it'll say, like, DCV, and then you'll have <clears throat> all these numbers to choose from. Okay. Over here, this is for your ohms. ohms. Um... And then, uh, uh, this is for higher voltage testing. Um, but as you can see, they're all, yours is probably looking different than this. Um, but anyway, so this is the setting you're going to want. Okay. So when you're wanting to test your car battery, look for this symbol right here. This is what represents the DC voltage. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, this is what represents the DC voltage. I'm going to put it at the 20. Your, if yours says DC voltage somewhere in actual lettering, put it at the 20. Um, if it don't, just look for, for this symbol right here. Okay? So I'm going to turn it to 20. See, I'm at 20. All right. Now, here's another tip for you. If you're not quite sure, um, do this. Don't even pay attention to this part when you're uh, trying to figure out AC, DC, um, amperage, whatever. Do this. Okay. Turn it. Right there, it says AC, V. Look for something like that on your screen. You don't want that. So you're going to want to keep turning it. That's for uh, house testing, I think. Okay, see, it just switched to DC. So just keep switching this until it goes to DC, V. And then uh, this right here, what this is telling you, this is telling you that you're on a direct current setting and the v is representing volts for the number of volts that pops up when you do your testing okay so when you find the dc pop up on your screen take it to the 20 mark see i'm on the 20 dc v okay now let me try to get the glare out of this There we go. All right. So you're just going to take your uh, black lead. Oops. I turned the screen around. Didn't mean to. I meant to zoom out. All right. So now what you're going to do, you got your setting on DC current, direct current, DC and then voltage. Um, that symbol right there, the the line with the dots, see how it's up here with the DC? Right there. That's what you're looking for. When you find that, switch it to 20. All right, so basically now the rest is just simple. Black goes the negative, red goes the positive. So over here is my negative over here is my positive we have 12.4 volts okay 12.6 volts is good actually that let me see that again that's 12.04 volts you want 12.6 volts is what you want um uh and then when you, uh, if the battery's in the car and you start the car and test it, um, it's going to drop and then should kick back up to like 13, 14, um, point something volts. Uh, that's good. That means your alternator's working and it's charging the battery. Um, but yeah, that's all I just wanted to get into is to actually explain the symbols on the multimeter because nobody really does that. They just tell you switch it to DCV, and they might just show you what it looks like on their multimeter. And I don't have other ones to show you, or I would. Um, I used to, but I threw them away. They were junk. Um, but uh, um, at least you know what you can look for as far as whether if it's lettering a DCV or a symbol. Or you can go from the uh, what it says on the screen itself as you're turning through this different settings. Um, and another thing I do want to touch on though is do not buy junk multimeters. Like I said, I used to have some, but I threw them away and they were junk. I threw them away because they're junk, and uh, it can be very dangerous if um, if uh, you're using a junk multimeter and uh, <clears throat> um, like this one's fused if I were to do something wrong um, it wouldn't zap me shouldn't 
but yeah, you don't want to get a junk multimeter. This one ain't nothing special, but it's not junk. I got it from Menards, and it actually came with uh, it was a three piece. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. Oh, where are you at? There it is. So it came with this, and it's commercial electric is the uh, brand and then it came with this it, what this is is it uh, has a flashlight on it battery's dead for some reason the battery will let the light work but it won't let me do any testing um and then it has three settings for testing what this is for is seeing if you got power at an outlet or in a certain wire or something and it has sensitivity levels i can actually find wiring in walls putting this on the most sensitive level yes um but it came with this came with the multimeter and it also came with an outlet tester that plugs into an outlet and it lights up different lights and tells you if uh, the outlet is wired correctly or not um i have one that i have the one that came with it if i can't find it in two seconds oh well but um yeah, I'm actually in the middle of straightening this place up. I'm starting to get off track, but anyways, um, you guys have a good one, and stay safe out there. I know the world's crazy, um, but uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Oh yeah, sorry I ain't been uh, posting videos that often. I don't have many subscribers anyways, or many people that watch, so but anyways, yeah, like and subscribe, peace.